हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर माइक ऑफिस लाइस इंडिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग कॉजालिटी एसेसमेंट सो व्हाट इज कॉजालिटी एसेसमेंट इट इज ए आर्ट टू फाइंड आउट वेदर देर इज ए कॉजल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ए ड्रग एंड इट्स एडवर्स इवेंट सो देर आर वेरियस मेथड्स आर देर विच कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज three kinds like one is judgmental another is analytical and the third one is probabilistic method in judgmental method we use who umc scale and in analytical method we use naranjo scale and in probabilistic method we use berthi method so generally the uh, globally uh, throughout the world uh, the umc UMC WHO UMC scale is generally accept, accepted. So, so in in my this video we are going to discuss regarding uh, WHO UMC scale. Here we can classify the causality into causality into four four classes. That is certain, probable, possible, and unlikely. So. Based on uh, four criteria, we can classify a relationship between an adverse event and a drug into four kinds. The criteria are there are four criteria. One is time relationship, that is the uh, time of intake and the time of start of the adverse event. The second is uh, uh, absence of any uh, absence of any competitive uh, regions like uh, whether the uh, that I will, I will explain the third one is third criteria is response to a drug withdrawn or dose reduction so which we also called hd challenge test and uh, the uh, fourth one is response to drug readministration that is called as a re challenge test so based on this four four criteria we class we classified the Uh, causality into four kinds that is certain probable possible and unlikely apart from these four classes there are two more class two other classes that is uh, fifth one is uh, unclassified un un or conditional and the sixth one is uh, unassessable and unclassifiable so conditional uh, when we can say it is conditional when uh, the Uh, the case study requests more information or more data is required or some data is under examination then we can say it is a conditional and uh, if if it is a uh, if we uh, in the sixth one that which is unclassifiable when we can say it is unclassifiable when there is uh, no sufficient data to prove that this uh, the adverse event is related to the drug so now coming to certain so when we can say it is a certain when the re challenge test comes positive like means if we administer the uh, drug again once again and uh, the adverse event uh, it uh, reappears then we can say it is a certain now possible when we can say it possible when we do only re challenge test We have we we should not go for re challenge. We we have to stop on re challenge test. Like means we have to withdraw the drug or we have to reduce the drug and find out the um, outcome. If the um, adverse event suppresses, then we can say it is a possible relationship. Now, uh, sorry, probable relationship. Now, when we say possible, if we don't do any kind of uh, re challenge or re challenge test and uh, there is uh, some um, some cause um, some uh, some cause which uh, says that yes the drug is related to a adverse event and in in a short span of time uh, the adverse event uh, occurs then we can say there is a possible relationship between a drug and its uh, adverse event now when we say it is unlikely when the time span is uh, not uh, time span is too long or uh, there is a uh, there is some alternate uh, um, causes of uh, competitive uh, regions 
to say that uh, uh, there is in the adverse event is related to some other uh, thing then we can say it is a unlikely now we will take an example and we will under, understand it properly now think that a patient is suffering from diarrhea and he took ofloxacin or inazol tablet and he developed a rash on his um, hand red color uh, patch red color rash on his hand now he took the drug on uh, um, sunday and on tuesday or on wednesday the rashes appear so it is a adverse event there is a time relationship of uh, two days okay time span of uh, two days now <coughs> two days so th there is, is there any we have to find it out is there any absence of uh, other uh, reasons like whether the uh, patient is allergic to some other drug or whether he is taking some other drug or whether he is uh, allergic to some food uh, we have to find it out then um, that type of things we have to go check and uh, the third case is a de challenge test like we have to stop the ofloxacin or inazol tablet and see whether the uh, rashes disappear ring or not if we stop the drug and uh, we see that the rashes disappears then uh, we can uh, classify it as a uh, probable okay now if we re administer the ofloxacin or inazol tablet and uh, the rashes reappears or it um, it again it uh, reappears within 2 to 3 days then we can say it is a certain so that in this way we can judge a uh, adverse event with a uh, drug so so for um, if you understand the uh, causality assessment then please like and share my videos thank you for today